so much, Scott. We appreciate your music talents each week. Today, it's a delight to welcome a very special guest. She is a familiar face for those of us who hang out at City of Light. We enjoy the wonderful, powerful ministry and dynamic teaching of Reverend Dr. Joyce Reynolds. We'd like to welcome her home to City of Light once again as she shares a dynamic talk today. I ask you to prepare your hearts in a very special way. She has a word for you and open up your spirit to receive all that she has to say today. She's speaking to each and every one of us. We're delighted to have her with us. So open up your hearts. Let's just send some big hearts and love and all this good stuff on the camera to Reverend Dr. Joyce Reynolds as she comes to share. Joyce, come on, please. Good. Well, hello, everybody. It's such su such a pleasure to be here um, on this beautiful, beautiful day. I've got a lot, lot of things that I want to tell you. I don't know whether I'm going to tell you all the things, <laughs> but that I would like to tell you. It's interesting because what what the people were talking about, Reverend Paul, Reverend. Uh, uh, John, is they were talking about the power we have, the power that you have, the power that your neighbor has. We're all individual expressions of that one power. We all have talents and abilities. We have time and we have a mind. And our mind is very important to us because our mind is hooked up with another mind. It's the mind of God. Now we have a conscious mind, we have a, a, a conscious mind, a subconscious mind, and then a heart mind. And the heart mind is the mind that vibrates one with God. The other mind is the ego mind. And the ego mind what's, what wants what it wants when it wants it. It just wants it. And what you do when you want something, you try to get it. And when you try to get it, you sometimes flub up. So, what am I talking about? I'm talking about the power of the spoken word. The power of the spoken word works for the good word and the not so good word. Sorry, gang, sorry. It works for every word you speak. Now, I've been hearing a lot about the situation with this flu. Now, the interesting thing is that we have projected a lot of negative things through our voice. Oh, it, things are getting worse. What does the universe hear? Things are getting worse. Oh, they. There's so many cases. Oh, we've got to shut everything down. Uh, people are getting sick. We're talking about what's, what we're creating. We create our own reality. Everybody's different. Everybody. We come into this life stream, and the interesting thing is, we become our mother and our father. We do. You hear yourself talking about the things that mom said, the things that dad said, and we're doing the same thing. Why is that so? It's because we've heard it over and over and over again. It's been created in us. Oh, not purposely. We didn't purposely say, I want to be like my mother. I want to be like my dad. But we are. Now the interesting thing is, Jesus tells us 
that there's power in the spoken word. Power. Well, power means creation. Power means having something very powerful. Power is a very interesting word because we have power over everything that's going on in our life. Now, people have been saying that during this period of time, we've had an opportunity to change. Yes, we've had an opportunity to change. We've changed some good things for the good, and we've changed some, good, some things for the not so good. What's going on? Here's the thing. We don't think about what we're saying. We don't think about it. We just keep saying, we keep condemning, we keep judging, we keep talking, we keep knowing it all. I know it all. You don't know nothing. I know it, I know it all. But the thing is, everybody has a different vision. Everybody has a different vision. And what happens is that the law of attraction is going to draw to you what you're putting out there. What are you putting out? You're going to get it right back. The law of attraction works on the positive and it works on the negative. Oh, who would have thought? We think, oh, I did something wonderful. Maybe you said something wonderful. Maybe you paid somebody a compliment. But in the next breath, you say, well, I don't like what this guy's wearing. I don't like what that person's wearing. You're actually being negative. Everybody is different. Everybody. So we have the law of cause and effect. Everything is a cause, and there's always an effect which then sets up another cause, which then sets up another effect. Now a body in motion, the energy in motion from this cause and effect continues to flow until acted upon by an outside force. We suddenly stop saying it. John gave us some meditations that helped us or will help us, if we, if we pay attention to them, about changing. Changing our life and changing what has been going on in our life to a better situation, to a better way of living, to getting rid of the negatives. So often, we don't think about the negatives. We don't think about them. We simply go ahead and just keep talking the negative stuff. Now when we talk the negative stuff, we're not benefiting anybody. We're only setting up new causes to get new effects. Now, if we got this conscious mind, the conscious mind is your thinking mind. What do you do? You think. Six, five senses. Seeing, touching, tasting, smelling, hearing. But there's a sixth sense, and the sixth sense is intuition. And the intuition that we have is very, very powerful. But we don't realize we have intuition. God will speak to us directly, directly, tell us. But we don't listen. We don't listen because we've been so programmed to believe the left brain that the right brain doesn't have a chance. And the left brain is your educated brain. And your right brain is your intuitive brain. Now back when the Indians were running around and Everybody was different, and we didn't have all this education. All this stuff was going on. They would say, oh, I feel like there's some mountains over there. 
or water over there or something over here. There was intuition. Oh, healing. They knew what to do. They knew how to handle things. But as we became educated, we gave up the intuition and we went to the left brain, two and two have to equal four. Well, two and two don't have to equal four. Quantum physics tells me that. Now, I can't figure that one out. I haven't figured it out. I may never figure it out, but they figured it out in some way. There are things that we don't know about healing that would heal everything in a minute. My doctor said to me, well, you're stuck with this. I had a, a, some, some surgery a uh, year ago. And they said, you're stuck with this. It's not gonna get better. And I said, well, it certainly can. Oh no, this, this won't get better. This, this is gonna stay this way. Sorry, he said. I don't believe anything has to say sick, not better, can't get better. I believe that there is a possibility for healing for every disease yes. that there is. Every single disease. But the doctors won't think about it. The homeopathics and other doctors are, are starting to do that. But back in the old days, old, old days, thousands of years ago, they used various methods that we wouldn't even think of today. You see, life is strange in one way. It's happy, it's joyful, it's interesting, it's complicated, it's all those things things, but you have to decide your life. What do you want with your life? What do you want to do with your life? How do you want to speak? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Do you want to change your career? You might. Do you want to do something different? In your life, you might. Do you want to get married? Do you want to get a divorce? Do you want to have children? You don't want to have children. Do you want to own a house? Oh, you want to rent. It doesn't, none of those things makes you bad. They make you making choices. We have choices to make. The power of the spoken word works in every choice we make. Every choice. We're always making choices. What kind of choices, new choices do you want? As you let go of one thing, you create a space. And when you create a space, something new needs to fill that space. Something new needs to fill that space. And when it fills it, you let go of the past. We talked about this in a class recently. It's called the law, we have the law of attraction, which draws to you. This is called the law of repulsion. Strong word, but it is, the, it is that law that says, I don't need this anymore. I don't want this anymore. This isn't benefiting me. The past is over. It's done. It's complete. The most important time in my life is now. Now. Not tomorrow. Not next week. Not, not six months from now now because your nows are going to create your future your thoughts are going to create your future your ideas are going to create your future 
You are going to create your future by your mind. Now, if you connect with the mind of God, if you really connect with that mind and don't stay in ego mind. Ego mind is I want what I want when I want it and I better have it. And God mind says, God, this is what I would like, but you know what is best. You know what is best and I want the best. And then something shows up and it doesn't look like the best. It's the best. It's the best. Sorry about that, it's the best. Because when something doesn't work out the way you want it to work out, it will work out later on for your higher and your greater good. You say to yourself, oh, thank God that didn't happen. Thank God that didn't happen. So we get to the point where we realize the basic is the power of the spoken word. There's power in it. There's power in thought. But thought comes first, and then we speak it out. But sometimes we just speak it out. Just speak it out. There's a thought behind it, but we come up with a, a word, something. We make up words. What I ask you to do during this next week is to think about the thoughts you think, the thoughts you say, the thoughts you feel. What thoughts are you speaking to your husband, your wife, your children, your boss, your friends, your acquaintances, the storekeeper, what thoughts are you thinking? What words are you speaking? There's power in those words. A lot of power. I know divine right action is working in and through my life. In and through my life. And as I align with God, as I align with Christ, as I align with the power, the power is mine. Thank you so much. God bless you.